What's happening, my Android friends? Welcome to another app of the week. I am David, of course. Your Android junkie at AndroidSpin.com. We're actually going to be looking at a, a launcher today or a home replacement, whatever the kids are calling it these days. Uh, we're going to be looking at Action Launcher 2.0. Yes, Mr. Chris Lacey. He just released it yesterday. And I must say, Mr. Lacey, you are awesome. You are an innovator. An innovator. You're very creative, my friend. I've actually used action launcher before and I liked where it was heading and where it's at right now it's it's pretty damn good pretty damn good as you can see here I got my normal layout got icons down here got my little time and weather widget my Google search bar all that fun stuff but I only have one screen because that's all I need and uh, obviously before um, he introduced those shutters which is you got these icons where I can either click and open up my Gmail or I can swipe up to get a little widget, which is awesome. I'm really digging that. I, I love that idea because I was actually a fan of pop-up widgets, and that's kind of like a similar thing. And it is pretty cool that he has that. But he just introduced what he calls one swipe. And basically what you do is you, have, you can swipe to the left or the right. Um, right now, since I only have one screen, I can just do it wherever. So if I swipe to the right... I get my quick drawer. And of course, I can add widgets if I wanted to. But if I swipe to the left, I get this little quick page. And you could place widgets, you could place apps, which of course I just place widgets just to save some valuable space on my home screen. You can place whatever you want in here. As long as it fits right in here, it's beautiful. Very beautiful. And what's, what's brilliant about this is you can, let's say I'm in my, my Gmail here. If I do it, Oop, there we go. So whatever app you're in, you can now access your apps or your quick page. Now it's still, this is still new, it's beta, so it's not quick. As you can see, there's like a little bit of a lag. But he even mentions that in the settings, that it is um, in beta, and we'll go to the settings right now. This is what I like too. By default, I can swipe up, and it'll be recent apps, which is cool. Swipe down, notification, really awesome. If I touch the home screen once, there's my action bar right there. Love that. So now we can jump into the settings here. Display, normal stuff. Like I said, if you want a persistent uh, top control, you can have nothing if you want. You can have that action bar translucent or clear. If you have KitKat, it's uh, transparent, just like the, the search bar, which is awesome. He's turned everything over to KitKat, which is very, very nice. Um, dock, dock separator, you can have it also as a KitKat, or you can have it like the normal line. I just have none. You can adjust the dimensions, all that fun stuff that we already really know about. Quick drawer, quick page. You can even have the background be Holo Light, which is beta. So he has all these here. So it basically looks like how KitKat is looking. You know when you have your folders and it has like a white background? You can have it like that if you want. But I prefer dark, just because... I'm a dark guy, not really. Um, that's clearly cool stuff. And then we got experimental features, which he's, you know, that stuff's been like that for a while. But here's the one swipe beta. And this is everything you do with here. You can have, when you open an app, you can actually have, like, the, the activation areas light up, if you would like, just to indicate that, hey, you can do this while you're in an app. I turn that off, though, just to... Uh, because I wasn't really caring for that. But well, you know what's cool about this too? Even if you don't like Action Launcher, like we will go into the regular Google Experience Launcher. Okay? And the thing is, though, can still access the quick page as well as the app drawer. So you don't even have to use you don't have to use Action Launcher to utilize those. That's what's so cool about it, because it works with any app. And considering that a launcher is, you know, is, is an app, so you can use it with any launcher you have, you are currently running. So even if you don't necessarily like Google or Action Launcher, you don't have to use it, but you can still use the one swipe method. Pretty cool stuff. I haven't heard of any other launcher doing something like that. This is what I love about this. So, so that's pretty much it, guys. I'm, like I said, I'm really digging this launcher with the shutters, with 
with the quick pages and quick drawers, just really, really innovative stuff. And I'm really liking what he's doing with this launcher. So I highly suggest checking it out. It's free. He made it free too. It used to cost money to get uh, the pro version, but he made it free for everybody. So check it out. Give it a whirl. Let me know what you think. And I even let him know what you think because this is pretty awesome stuff. And I, I commend you, my friend. Well, all right, guys, hit that like, thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. And make sure you subscribe to the Android Spin channel if you have not already. Well, I'm David. You're Android Junkie from AndroidSpin.com, and this has been App of the Week Action Launcher 2.0. Oh, so good. That's what I think the O stands for. All right, guys, talk to you later.